Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. This video is part three of my Macari bead haul. I don't know if I'm actually going to call it Macari bead haul. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet at all, really, but it's part three. So, um, I'm tired. I'm filming for several hours now, believe it or not. I'm thinking that there's going to be five parts to this because I just kind of like grouped the bags together and it looks like this might be a five part series of this bead haul. So, if you didn't see part one and part two, I will link them down below, and I will also link part four and five if I film those down below. All the parts should be down there, but I have to upload them, so if you're watching this and it's freshly uploaded, um, you won't see the newer ones until I get them all up, so uh, yeah. So, going back to the beads, I just showed you guys in part one, I showed you cultured freshwater pearls and saltwater pearls, and then... I showed you in part two, I showed you amethyst, uh, rose quartz, in case you didn't see that, I showed you coral garnet, and then I show you a whole bunch of earthy colored gemstone beads, a ton of tiger's eye with so much. And now I'm going to show you turquoise and lapis, and then we're going to go to jade and some other stuff. So. Let's go ahead, open this up, and I do really recommend that you go and watch those other videos in case you didn't see them, because there's just so much stuff here. And some of this stuff I'm trying to identify myself, so some of you might actually know what it is. Now, I don't know if there is real turquoise here or not, so let's just go through and see what we have. I have my, boot, my bead scooper over here, so I put my stuff back in the bags. This was a mix. I went through all these organizing them. And this is just a mix of turquoise rounds and some other shapes that I threw in here. I don't know if any of this is real turquoise or not. I do believe that real turquoise has to be treated. So I think all turquoise has to get a treatment. I did get some really neat shapes in these turquoise beads though. These here are teardrops. I love these. Look at that. And they're all different shapes, or sizes I mean. They're all different. And they all kind of vary too in color, which is really cool. I like that a lot. I will zoom in so you can see. They're really neat. They're all just like a little bit different. I like that. Pretty. There is so much animal hair in this. It's probably because I've had this sitting on the top of my Roscog by my windowsill where my cat likes to sit. And he sits there wagging his tail and the hair from his tail probably falling in my beads. Here is lapis. There is a lot of lapis in here. Um, there's different kinds of lapis. There's denim lapis, I think that's what it's called, which is a pale lapis. So beautiful. I love it. There's like a really dark lapis, and then there's lapis that has white in it, which I also really like. So see that there has a white in it. Now, um, there was so much that I was going through at times when I was sorting through this just trying to make it more manageable so I can film this because if you guys saw what this looked like before I filmed it I would probably have ten parts instead of five it looks like it's gonna be a five part series but uh, it was just so overwhelming there was so much but uh, I, I did get to a point to where I was just bagging the same size bead together so as you can see there's different lapises here some are super dark and then some are brighter and then some have white in them so yeah to make things easier on me I was kinda just bagging the same size together those are all eight Now there's a necklace in here that I've not really checked out very much. I, I thought I would leave it to the video to check it out. Here it is. I've not opened this at all because I've, I've, I've went through so much. 
I thought I would just check it out in the video. Hopefully I'll get it back in the bag. So there are some rondelles in here. Oh my gosh, is this little tassels? What is this? I love the bead caps. Okay, this is the side of a necklace. And, oh my gosh, that's tassel. This is a really cute design. This is a beaded bead. I know how to make this. I have videos on it. And I'm kind of congested right now, so that's why I sound all nasally. I have bad allergies. But, um, this here is a tassel. Made with graduated beads. 6, 8, 10. This one has 6, 8, 10, 12. And seed beads. These are 80 seed beads, by the way. And 4 millimeter rondelles right there at the top. This is a really neat design. I like it. I love this bead cap. It looks like a hat. That's cool. So here's the other side of the necklace. All the beads came off. You could tell we're missing beads here. But I like this design. I would like to remake something like this. So... This, I believe, is half of the necklace, and then there was, this was supposed to be over here, like this. Almost like this was a guru bead. That makes sense to you. So yeah, I will finish taking this apart. I might take pictures of it, though, for inspiration. You guys ever do that take pictures of something that inspires you I do that sometimes like if I go to the store and I see a top that I like that has pretty colors in it but maybe I wouldn't wear the top or maybe it's too overpriced or something for my for me I will take a picture of it because the colors look really great together and makes me want to create jewelry and I don't know about you guys but I buy clothes to go with my jewelry I don't buy clothes and then make jewelry. I kind of do things in reverse because <laughs> I already have the pieces made. When I go shopping, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for a shirt to go with this necklace I made. It's backwards. I know everybody else th th does it the other way, but when you make jewelry, you know, you have to do it this way. So this here is a really neat mix of turquoise beads. Some of them are like really beat up, but they look cool. I love this aged look. So see this one here, like half the bead broke off, but it just looks so ancient and old. I love really old looking things that just look like they've been around forever. Aren't those cool? They look so cool. I don't know if they're supposed to look like this, but I think they look neat. I could separate these more, but since they were all like the same family, I just put them together in this bag. I'm running out of bags, y'all can you tell. Bags really are one of the best ways to store beads, especially when you store them like this. See how I have like full bags here? So, like this one here could be in a smaller bag, but when you store beads in bags where most of the bag is filled up, it's so much better than storing a teeny tiny amount of beads in a big bag. These here are 6mm turquoise. Are these the same that are in this necklace? No? They look very similar though. No, they're not. They're lighter. These are gorgeous though. I love these little ones. I don't have many turquoise beads, believe it or not. Like, I love this color. It is my favorite color. But in my bead stash, I mostly have blue glass turquoise colored beads, not turquoise beads. I don't really have any turquoise beads. And then these here, oh my gosh, these are incredible. I do wonder if these are something fancy just because of how they look. These are like really fancy looking, like they might be some kind of real turquoise. I don't know. But they are just gorgeous. I love those. 
then these here there's a lot of these um these were made into a more than one bracelet i think i took one of the bracelets apart it was falling apart but i don't know what this is it might be jade i know there's a lot of jade in here i'm going to show you the jade beads next they're sliders though these here are green but all these other ones these are different they're really cool very heavy beads these ones are smaller. I think that might actually go in the bag. I'm just gonna put it all here though. Here's more lapis. This is a teardrop lapis and it is a beautiful shape teardrop it doesn't have a really pointy end it's kind of more egg shaped really look at this see how that shape it's like shaped like an egg like it's a teardrop bead right but it's not really pointed it's more egg shaped and there's a lot of white in it and I love lapis with white in it the white in it with the pyrite Look at that one here. These here I didn't have to sort. These were all in what their own bag, believe it or not. And I didn't find these anywhere else. So these here stayed together. Lapis beads makes me think of Egyptians. King Tut with his lapis jewelry. These are, are uh, 10 millimeter, but some of them are rough. Like, they're beaten up, some of them. Like that one there, has a little piece missing inside. But you know, you could put a bead cap on the side of this and cover that right up. You won't even know it's messed up. And then you don't feel bad about you know, having to like throw the bead away. I've had some beautiful beads that I have chipped myself. Um, I did a video one time and I had this gorgeous teardrop and I chipped the end of it. But it was still usable. And um, I covered the damage with a bead cone and you couldn't tell that it was broken. But I did not want to throw that away. That bead was so pretty. You know, I felt bad that I had dropped it. Here is a really cool mix of lapis beads. I love this one. I wish there was more of those. It's a rondelle shape. There's different shapes in here. Look at this bead. Looks like a little earth. I don't know what that is. Is it chrysocolla? Something like that. I'm using a scooper to pick this up. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right here. So I showed you this bag, which has some turquoise beads in there that were like kind of banged up, but they're really neat. Here they are again, but in a huge form. There is a giant one in here. I was wondering if this was like an enormous necklace that was taken apart. Look at how big this bead is. It is so big. This might be one of the biggest beads in my stash now. And it is heavy too. So cool. It looks like a jawbreaker. So here are the other ones. See how some of them are like kind of falling apart they might be poor quality but I don't know I still like them even though they look rough and tumbled they just look so darn ancient and old and interesting
this the lapis? This is the lapis I wanted to show you guys. I think this is called denim lapis. It's really pretty. It's not dark. It's actually like the color of jeans. Do you see that? So this here is like the traditional lapis dark blue. But this one is pale. I love it. It's so pretty. Look at this strand. It's really pretty. The white in it. Some are lighter than others. Like this one here is really pale. I love it. Now this bracelet here. This bead. I'm trying to figure this out. Later on there's going to be some really old antique stuff I'm going to show you guys. Some of the best parts of what I've got in this haul. I will be showing you later on. But this bead is similar to another, um, what is this called? Oh, I know the name of this. I'm going to put these away and try to think of it. It's from Egyptian times. Scarab. It's a scarab. I've made a beaded scarab ring before. I did a ladybug, but I kind of, kind of felt that he looked like a scarab, so I just changed the color of the ladybug to the green color. But anyways, later on I'm going to show you some more scarabs. They're bigger than this. And this bead here is already big just by itself. But I'm trying to figure out what this is made of. I'm kind of thinking it might be ceramic, but it looks like it's carved. Is ceramic usually carved? I didn't think it was. I don't know. Anyways, it's really neat. And this is lapis here also. Looks like there's a lot of pyrite in this bracelet. Especially that one. I can really see the metal. Look at me. Pyrite is also known as fool's gold. That's what I actually know the name of that bead more than anything else. Fool's gold. And then we have more. There's turquoise hearts here, which I just saw turquoise hearts in, I think it was the first bag, so I'm going to have to take those out and find those. And here is more of the denim lapis in the bigger size. So pretty! I love this color. Look at that one. I think I have like... Two different denim lapises. I have one that's really pale and then I have one that's a little bit darker. Here is some more turquoise. Bunch of different shapes. Some of these might be real. I don't know. This is a drop bead. My aunt gave me Three turquoise cabochons, the real turquoise. She she said that she was sending me some, but they're like this big, and they have unique shapes. They're they're not like round or anything like that. But I know there's different kinds of turquoise. My ring is a uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which means it has no um like patterns. I don't like these have these little matrix, whatever you want to call them, patterns in them, which I like. I do. This here has glue on it. I just have to take a knife and scrape that off. I've done that before. But um, I see a lot of people take rocks like these that have a point on them and they just glue, um, well first they take a, a flathead pin and they put it through a bead cap and they make a wire wrap loop and then they glue it onto a rock that has a point on it and they make a necklace out of them. That one there this one here, that might be real turquoise. I found a bunch of sterling silver in these bags. They have markings on them, 925, so I know it's real sterling. Gold, too. A lot of 18 karat, 14 karat gold earring bags and posts. Here is some more. I don't know if these are the same as those other ones. I don't think so. 
pretty. More lapis. These are big. Really big. 12 millimeter. These ones have a lot of pyrite in them. Look at that right there. That pyrite. Love that. Those are gorgeous. Here's some more. These are six millimeters. These might actually be fake lapis. I don't know. I do think there's fake lapis because I have some dark blue beads that just have like no patterns in them. I think that, I don't know, maybe these are real. I see pyrite in it. I have some dark blue beads that I think are, what's it called? Quartzite. Dyed quartzite. Yeah, I think these are real. I see, I see uh, a pyrite in it. Right, there's more. There's turquoise nuggets. These are so cute. Now, some of this could be real because my aunt has sent me some stuff like this. Just a couple pieces here and there. Little nuggets. Look at that. Oh, I drop it. I dropped a citrine bead earlier. I've not found it yet. Me and those are pretty. What do you guys think? Do you think any of this could be real turquoise? Okay. Here is some more lapis. This one's very vibrant, bright blue. Look at the different shades of lapis. This one's really dark. This is the denim lapis. This one's also the denim lapis. It comes in different shades. And I wonder if I have some of these mixed up in this bag. Some beads were already sorted into a bag, and they didn't need any help, but then I would find bags that just had a mixture of stuff. So if the bag looked like it was okay, I didn't really go through it much. Oh, I love these. More turquoise. These are oval shaped. These are pretty big. I think these are man-made. I think. What's it called? Marcasite? No, what's it that? Something else. Halite? Dyed halite? And these are little, like, donuts? It's made out of that same material that those other ones are made out of that we're falling apart some. And then this strand here, I have seen these necklaces all over the darn place. I don't know about you guys, but every time I go to a thrift store, I will find a necklace like this. It's like 30 inches long. You can put it over your head, 
always made with four millimeter gemstone beads. I've gotten this in um, white and a, a beige color. I've gotten it in pink. I think I've got it in like six or seven different colors, but I always see these at thrift stores. The first time I've gotten this color though, this blue. But it makes me wonder, where are they coming from? Because I, I see them a lot. Alright, so that's all my turquoise and lapis colored beads. I'm going to put this away and then we're going to... Okay, here is the green beads. There's an alakite in here. There's a lot of jade. More jade than I knew of at first because I was doing research and I found that jade comes in many different shades and colors too. So these right here, I first thought these were like a cheaply dyed green bead and then I started researching jade and I do believe that these are not cheap, they are jade. So I gotta be careful sometimes. They're really cool. I thought the jade was always a solid green color, like, for example, let me find what I've always thought jade was. Ugh, I don't see one. This here, that color. I thought jade was always this color, just always, but no, jade comes in many different shades of green. So there's a bunch of different shapes here. As you can see there's coin, there's this two hole bead, which there's a bunch of these in different uh, colors throughout all the stuff. There's this bead here that goes onto a guru bead. Right there's a guru bead. Three hole bead. There's six eight millimeter beads here. And these coin beads that have a funny drill where they go like this at an angle when they're strong, they actually overlap each other like this. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of malachite in here. Um, in my bead stash, Lisa gave me malachite. And I, I never had it before, but um, I have it in chip beads and I think a little bit of rounds but I got a lot of malachite in this collection so look at this bag here these are big and they're really good quality malachite too that one there is broken but I might be able to save his life find a use for him look at the stripes so cool. Oh, look at that one. It just seems crazy to me that this is a real gemstone. It looks fake. That's so cool. It looks like it's painted. It really does. So I think these are like 8, 10 millimeter sizes. These here are jade. Jade also comes in this color here. I have a gigantic carved pendant. What did you guys see? I'm wondering if that's jade too. I'm loving their hole sizes because I can use these with cord. I've been really into micro macrame lately. So I'm loving using those. And these here, I think, are jade. I, I didn't know what these were for at first, but the more I've researched, I think this is dark jade. It's called emerald jade, I think. 
because it's so dark. I do think I have a few of them mixed together. Like, I see like four different shades going on here. So there's this really dark one. Then there's lighter ones. And I just put all these together because, like I said, I'm running low on bags. And they're all really similar in color. So I just stored them all like this. And then these. I thought these were a dyed bead that was faded. No, this is jade. I was reading an article about how to tell if jade, if something is real jade or not, and this was totally described to the T of being one of the variations of jade beads. And man, these are everywhere, especially the four millimeter. I found those throughout all the pearls. They're pretty. Oh, look at these malachite hearts. They're really shiny. They look so fake. It does not look like a gemstone. It looks like it's painted. Look at that. They're really shiny. There's a lot of them too. Oh, and there's these uh, green turquoise looking beads. These are cute. I like these. Very cold. Heavy too. I don't know if those are man-made or not. I don't know. And then, this is a mix. It got really crazy. Like, there's so many green beads that I started finding just things that I thought were oddballs. So I have an oddball bag here. I don't know what this is. It looks like quartz, but it has a green color to it. This I'm actually thinking is probably... Fancy Jasper. Fancy Jasper and Jade. I guess they got mixed together because I kept finding like the Fancy Jasper and the Jade. And then more Malachite. These are nuggets or chips. Oh, there's a heart there. Darn it. So the heart got into the bag. And then these here, I thought these were adventuring, but they might be jade. I don't know. They could be. This was a strand, and I was trying to match the other beads up this as much as I could. This one here though does not look like that strand. It's a different shade of green. And look at this. I've never seen this before. It's like a, a pinch bale, but you put it on a bead. Strange, huh?
Here's some more. These are big. These are a little banged up. These might be adventuring. I kind of wonder if maybe they look like this because of how they were drilled. Because it's only where they are drilled at that is like that. Here is more malachite. These are eight millimeters. Look at how many there are. There's a little strand in there. So cool. These here I think are jade. These actually came in the same bag together, so I just left them in the bag. Maybe they were in the same bracelet or something. Here's a four millimeter malachite. These are scattered throughout every, every bag, every, every place, man. I had to put those in there. Those might be adventuring. And then these here, I believe, are jade. These are also scattered everywhere, and I, I gathered them together and put them in here. These are little donuts, rings. Look at that. So cool. There's a bunch of them. Different shades. That's like the smallest gemstone donut. I have little donuts like this. But mine are plastic. I've never seen a gemstone donut that tiny. And look at this one. That's cool. There's a jade bead. I don't know if this is jade. My aunt sent me a whole bunch of serpentine and it looks just like this. So I wonder if this is serpentine. Here are some six millimeters. Those also might be jade. I don't know. Those could be jade because I saw jade comes in that color. And this here, I am so excited about these. I found these scattered throughout everywhere, but they were very unique because of, of their color and they stood out. So I ended up realizing that they all went together. But there is very pale green, blue, like white colored beads in here. They have large holes. They're so pretty. Look at this. See the blue? I thought this was aquamarine or angelite or something like that and then I ended up reading about how jade comes in this color and I saw pictures of it. I love that bag. Oh, and here's more. This one's tiny. Four millimeters, 
threes, five, six millimeter beads. Those are jade too. There's more jade. Oh, and after I bought these beads from her, she posted some pictures of finished jewelry and a lot of the jewelry she posted was made with several of these beads. I saw the same beads that I bought from her in the jewelry. And she said that this is jade or this is so and so. No, I don't know what this bead is, but it is huge and there is a lot of them. I'm thinking it might be adventuring. They are big. Still more. These here, I don't know what this is. This looks like the serpentine that my aunt gave me, though. It does. I don't know if this bead is dirty or not. I kind of want to go, go and wash it. See how it has these brown specks on there? I don't know if that's supposed to be in there or if it's dirty. Could be dirty. I could wash it. I've washed beads before. I've bought beads from thrift stores that were so dirty. I washed them with just hand soap mild hand soap and they came clean this is very pretty but there is a broken bead right here I think she gave me this when I bought things from her because I bought so much she would give me a gift and thanks for making an order with her like she gave me um, class for one of my purchases she gave me a little purse these are cool I don't know what this shape is about if you know, please tell me in the comments. They look like fishtails. I found these scattered throughout. I think this is jade too. See that? It's a big hole. They kind of look like fishtails. I don't know. What is this supposed to be? They're cool. This one's big. And there's a hole at each end. Here's some more. I don't know what this bead is. I don't know what this one is. But there is a guru beads in it. I think this is called a tower bead. It goes on the guru bead. It's a very bright green. There's Guru. Oh, and look at these. Those are rectangles. Did my camera zoom in? No. And then there's these here. I think these are venturing. Don't know for sure though. Don't know for sure. I'm just making guesses. Those are cool. These right here. I wanted to show you these. These are shaped really cool. I'm wondering if I'm missing a center one though. So let's see. There's a hole that's going this way to the bead. So there's another hole here and there. Hole's going this way. Hole's going that way. But, I don't know. I'll have to see how the holes go through it. Because it kind of looks like they might string like this. If I line the holes up. I'll have that right If 
I line the holes up right. It, it's like a fancy pattern. I don't know. I was wondering if I was missing a bead. I'll have to see. Like a centerpiece. It kind of looks like I might be missing a centerpiece. Oh, I love these. I actually need to separate them because there's two different leaves in here. But uh, remember I told you guys that I loved Moss Agate, but I had a hard time finding it. This is Moss Agate. Now, I wanted mine round, but I got these here in leaves. But you could see just how beautiful the Moss Agate is. They are gorgeous. I love that pattern in there. Look at that. I don't know what this this one is, but that's cool. They're all carved. There's a lot of these. Look at this one with the white. They're pretty pretty. There is this rondelle here. I don't know what it is. It's a dark green. It's like olivine. It's really pretty. First I thought it was tourmaline. And then when I looked closer at it, I realized it was different when I took it out of the bag. This color is my favorite. It's that like minty green. I think this is jade. But really amazing quality. I love them. Definitely one of my favorites. I have everything I got. The color is gorgeous. There's more. I think this might be Jade. Here is um, Moss Agate. Don't know what that bead is. I don't think that's Jade though. It's a barrel shaped bead. More Malachite. This is 6mm though. So I think I got it like four different round sizes. That's gorgeous green. Love that. There's only six of them though. And then this here. This is a neat mix. More of these slider beads. And I've shown you guys. I've got several of these. They've come in different colors, but there's only like a few of each color. See that? It almost looks like bamboo. Like put together is what I mean. When they're put together. It has a bamboo look. I wonder if these were made into like a bracelet. And there was only a few of each color. Maybe I should go back around and see how many I could find. Because there was probably one bracelet made with these in different colors. You know what I'm saying? That's a slider there. There's only one of those. And there's some big ones here. These are so heavy. Those might be jade. This is actually a bead. I thought that was a rock at first, but it's a bead. And that's fancy jasper.
Here's some jade. These are really cool carved pieces. I love these. And I've been on the hunt for more of these. These carved jade beads. Look at how gorgeous. They're so fancy. So there's two of those. There's this big jade one here. The hole. Some little ones. This looks like a counterweight or something. There was a jump ring on it. I took it off because it was discolored really bad. Look at this teeny tiny itty bitty little Buddha. He's so small. And then there are these leaves. And some other shapes. And I think this is broken. I don't know. It might be. Oh, and look at the frog. I don't think he has a hole, though. Maybe he was, like, glued on the something. Alright, there's a few bags left, and then we're going to move on to the next one. That's a cool shade of green. I don't know if that's shade or not, though. These are faceted. Two different sizes. These are cool. I don't know what that bit of stone is. And these were scattered everywhere. There were so many beads that were just sprinkled everywhere. It's like they were sprinkle beads. last one there. I'm going to put the green away and then we're going to... Alright, here is another bag. We have smoky quartz. There's black beads in here. Some of this might be Spinel. There's hematite. There's crystal quartz. We got some more Z beads. I kind of wonder if they're carved out of bones. So right here is this necklace. I didn't take this apart. I just put it straight into this bag. But these are more Z beads. But these ones look like they're bone. And I don't know if this is glass or if this is a gemstone bead. Because I know there's a black bead called Spinel, there's Onyx. Here's some more. This one looks different from this, though. I think those are different. So there's three there. So I gotta look up Bone Z beads. See if there's such a thing as that. I saw that there is um, wooden ones. The ones I had earlier. What are they called? Petrified wood sea beads. Here's labradorite chips or nuggets. They're kind of big. This is a full strand. Thirty inches long, looks like. And then this here, I found so many of these clear beads. First I thought they were glass, but then I was realizing they were crystal quartz. Some of them, though, I think are glass. 
but there are definitely some that are crystal quartz. Like this necklace here. I think this is glass. But I don't know. There could be crystal quartz that doesn't have the little fractures in it. There could be. Something else I gotta research. Those are glass. I know that for sure. There's some glass here. I love that swirly one. Look at this one. This is another slider. There are so many of these. This one has like little inclusions in it. There's different shapes. There's some bicones in here. There's crystal quartz. So you can tell it's a stone. These here look like they are drilled. Right? See this center, the core of the bead? How it is white? It looks like it was drilled, but these here have a clear center, not white. So these are glass, but these, these might be crystal quartz. Because you don't really drill glass beads. And these look like these. show you just some of the huge ones in here. These are crystal quartz. See that? You can see the little markings inside of them. The cool, there's a cord stuck in here. That reoccurring problem I was telling you about. Some of these I have been able to pull out. I put the bead all in there and I go from different directions and I like pull the cord off the side. And then I just slide the cord out. I've done that a few times. I think these giant ones are crystal quartz because of their little imperfections right there. I think it's crystal quartz. It's so funny looking. It's like bubbles. They look like glass bubbles. Here are some smoky quartz beads. So there's smoky quartz in here. Those beads must be crystal quartz, right? And they have that same look. I mean, they're darker, of course, but you can see the little little fractures, whatever it's called, inside of it. Look at that one. Ooh, that one's pretty. Lisa gave me some crystal, smoky crystal quartz like these, but they were bigger. There, are, there are some big pieces of crystal quartz in here, smoky ones. There's a bunch of black beads that are browns. Some have big holes. It is hard to tell spinel from regular black glass beads. Like I have some black agate beads and then I have black glass beads and I can't tell them apart. And this here I think is opal. I don't know if it is um I think it's real opal. I don't think it's eating opium opal. Because that's like really sparkly with its color play, but these here I do believe are opals. I saw the little flashes of color. That right there, that one's doing it. I need a better bag. This one has holes on it. I 
Here's some more black beads. These are drilled, so I'm thinking you could tell that they're definitely drilled. So it has to be some kind of a black gemstone. Right? But then again, I've seen some really good g drilled gemstone beads that were so perfectly drilled, they could have passed for glass. Now this, I think this is glass. There is this little flash of color here, like a cat's eye bead. Not tiger's eye, but there's glass cat's eye beads that do this. But I usually see them in blue, green, white, um, purple. That's like their color range. But these here are black. So look, you'll see that little flash. A little flash of gray there. So I think those are glass. I also got these in um, coin shapes and I think in a barrel. They're seed beads. 8 O's. They're not the best quality. I need to replace that bag. That bag's dirty. There's a bunch of dirty bags like that. These here are gemstones. Here are some Smoky Quartz chips. This is a bracelet. I didn't check this out too much. This was like in its own bag already. So I kind of just went tossed it to the side and kept going. Whoa. So they're little faceted gems that have a hole in them. They're drilled. They look like... um. Hematite. Look at that. Those are cool. I think they're hematite. So that bracelet's falling apart. That's okay though. I'd rather use the beads than to have that as a bracelet. And then we have. Is this more black? More, no, this is that one that I think is glass bead. It has that gray flash in it. That cat's eye. There's a lot of them. Here's another one. This one. I think this one's a gemstone. an 8 millimeter. This is cool. Now these two I think are opalite. I love these. I wish there was more of these. These are drilled. You could tell they're drilled. Just by looking at that hole. You can see this is a drilled bead right there. But these, I think these are glass. I can't live without my bead scooper. I want to use those in macrame really bad. There's this bracelet I'm working on that I might be able to use those in. So here's some more black. These are 6 millimeter. I do think these are gemstones because if you look at them you can see there's like patterns and stuff on them. Here's more black. Those are 8 millimeter. Those have drilled holes. I think those are gems. These are more smoky quartz, but these are faceted. Look at these. How cool is that? They're just a little beat up, but I, I know that they're gemstones. They're not glass. So cool. There's some faceted ones here. 
I don't know if that's spun now or if it's glass. It's hard to tell with the black beads. What? It's not a pearl. How did you get in there, pearl? Oh my gosh. These are hematite. I have a lot of hematite, y'all. Hematite beads are plentiful at thrift stores. I don't know what it is. But they are plentiful there. There is a pearl right there. Black pearl. I'm just going to put him back in there and pretend like I didn't see anything. This bead is broken, but I found the other end to it. Somewhere else. I actually want to fix this. Like, I, I never fix broken beads, but this is so cool. Wait, wait till you, I guess you won't see the other end. But the other end, it, it looks like a vase or something. It's a really cool bead. Um, I have glue. I got it. Free. That's a cabbage on right there, by the way. I have glue that I got free one time with a purchase through a bead store, and it's called Bead Fix. It is glue to fix broken beads. But I think it's just a one-time use, which is kind of silly. Because I have had several broken beads. It's really disappointing when the fancy lamp work beads break. That drives me crazy. I hate it when that happens. This is more um, smoky quartz. They're tubes. I won't take them all out. I'll just try to get one out. Look at that. I have um, two more that are bigger than these. In the bag. I'll show you those soon. Is that cool? Those are seed beads. I don't remember those being there. Oh my gosh. This is Tiger's Eye. I think. But it's black. It's so cool. I love these. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I was so excited when I started finding these. I'm like, what? That's black tiger's eye. It's so gorgeous. I love it. This one here has a little bit of brown in it. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but man, that is that is a beautiful gemstone. I gotta tell y'all, it is exhausting filming bead hauls, especially these huge ones like this. I actually have a headache, I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I keep yawning. These are the the giant ones. This is smoky quartz. Isn't that huge? That is a huge bead. There's two of them. What's this? Is this one of those rutilated beads? It might be. I think I have this. I got it from... Uh, maybe not. I got one from BB Craft that looks like this. These are 10 millimeter minus 8. But this one looks better. This one looks cooler to me. I think it's rutilated. It's a rutilated something. It's a rutilated bead. Earlier I showed you rutilated quartz. I don't remember if that was in the earthy tone bag or not. I think it was. Those are cool. And then we got some giant, giant black beads. I think they're just black. I don't think they're anything fancy about those. And then these are twisted, like the clear ones I showed you earlier. I'm trying to hurry up and get through this because there's just so much. This is faceted smoky cords. These are gorgeous. I love those. Those are really pretty. And then this strand here, mystery strand, some kind of a chip bead. Don't know what that is. And then here's more of those cat's eye beads. I think these are cat okay, gas. <laughs> I think these are glass. So I got these in the rounds, a barrel, and this here you can really see the cat's eye look here. I think I have some of these in my bead stash. 
I'm telling you, these are glass. They're really cool. The light hits them just right. Do you see that? You might have seen buttons that look like this. I have a couple buttons that have this look. But they're plastic. I've made hair breadths with these. This shape. Corn bead. I think it was 10mm corn beads. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what this bead is, but I really like it. There's only a few of them. It's gray. But look at the color and the pattern. Those are really neat. I like those. I dropped it. But I got it before it hit the floor. Okay, it's left. Oh my gosh, more smoky quartz. But look at these. They are so pretty. There's a variety of shades here. They're twisted. Aren't they cool? There's a lot. Oh, whoa, it's the bag. Here's more hematite. Those are big. I don't know if those are glass. They feel so lightweight. They're like two millimeter. These here are gemstones. I can tell by their shape. They're little funky shapes. And they have drilled holes. These here, I don't know what they are. They're four millimeter round. And then these are those cat's eye beads again. The same as these, but they are barrels or egg, whatever you want to call it. And they have that flashy thing that they do. And then a bag of miscellaneous shapes. Oh my gosh, this is more of that rutilated bead. But this one's black. This is pretty. Get ready for this. Can you see that? I don't know if my light is showing it well. I have a light that's right here. It's like a ring light. It's a new light. I'm going to adjust it some. But it looks like little sparkly glitter pieces in these beads, but they are gemstones. It is just like flashes. Oh, look at that. Little flashes of fire in there. Man, they are so incredible. They are gorgeous. And these are the only ones I found throughout the bag. But those are cool. Love those. And then there is this. Teeny tiny. Like two millimeter beads. So that is it. There is a lot here. As you can see, this is the end of I think part three. Am I already losing count of which number I'm on? I think it's part three. I'm going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back and film part four and five. So, this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was a really epic find for me. I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to find all this stuff. I found some really unusual, neat things, some really old things. Uh, part four is going to be really exciting. In part four, I am going to show you the carved pieces that I have found that are like rare finds. And I think you're going to be just as excited to me as I am to uh, check them out. And uh, maybe we can identify some of them together. 
and uh yeah so this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember i put i will put a link for makari down there in the description bar in case you want to go check it out for yourself you should there's a lot of people that have posted like entire bead stashes on there i don't know if they're giving up on beading or if they're like you and me and their stash is getting so big that they're de-stashing some of their beads on there but uh yeah go ahead check it out i have the link in the description and look out for i think it's part four i think it's what i have to film next and um i will have that linked down below if i get it uploaded uh, some time after this upload and I'm thinking I'm going to upload these like every other day depending because it's going to be a lot of editing for me so yeah this is it I hope you enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and check me out on my social media sites I'm on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter thanks for watching